Good morning and welcome to the CI video report. So yesterday was a busy day for the currency markets, um, a very positive one for the pound, uh, mainly due to the uh, UK uh, inflation, which is basically the general cost of goods and services per month that we have to pay. Um, took a sharp rise, the, the, the biggest rise since 2012, uh, up to 1.9%, which is just under the 2% target the Bank of England uh, set themselves the target for. Um, it's the first time it's been at this kind of level uh, in about seven months. So very positive for the pound. And basically the reason why is because if it stays around this kind of level, uh, it does give the Bank of England a lot more scope to tinker with interest rates. Um, in fact, a couple of our analysts are expecting now that we'll see interest rates go up here in November this year. So couple that with European data, the ZEW economic sentiment. Um, it was quite a bit down on expectations, um, so sterling euro did benefit by about a cent in favour of sterling over the course of the day. Um, over in the US, the retail sales came out um, below expectations, so again, uh, the dollar suffered. We saw cable move to new highs, the best it's been since the start of the recession, um, October 20, 2008. Um, so again, really, really good time to be buying dollars if you've got any business um, requirements, send money over to China or just uh, buying a property over in Florida or anywhere in the US, uh, great time to be doing it. Um, also today we've got unemployment here, so it's another busy day. Unemployment figures, average earnings, um, also the claimant count, how many people are signing on basically um, for the UK. We've got EU trade supply um, and then over in Canada, it's uh, all sort of Canada is the, the North American data today. Not a lot coming out from the US during trading hours, but it's the Bank of Canada's interest rate setting meeting. Also their policy statement and subsequent press conference, which is at quarter to four this afternoon. Um, and then later this evening, the Fed's Janet Yellen has a speech. And also we've got the release of the Federal Reserve's beige book. Um, so there's plenty to be going on with today. If you've got a requirement, make sure to stay in touch. Give us a call at CI Today.